Fantastic news. Last week I went under contract with an artist to make the characters and hand images for my game. His uh, name is Daniel. And he sent me the first of the images today. Let's try to incorporate that into the game and see what it looks like. Go to the two images. Uh, here's the first one. Uh, Emma.png. This is for character number five in our list of uh, AI characters. She is... Actually, let's bring up the game and see what it says she is. She is... Oops, Emma. Emma is determined to win even if she does not play much. Emma is a gambler trying to win big. Moderate difficulty. Okay, so the image we have over here, let's so replace that. And we'll have a different hand uh, to show on the screen. Um, let's just try using them as is and see how it turns out. I'll get some coding done and I'll be right back. Well, let's take a look and we'll start tweaking. I'm just playing long enough so I can see the other side. Okay, so it still goes off the screen a little bit. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. Um, actually, let's go ahead and take a look at the opponent here. That works. I might put a frame around it or move that around a little bit, but uh, that'll be later tweaking. That's a great picture, though. I like that. Let me change the nature of this character so we see the AI hanging out down here. Because right now, actually, let's not do that. Let's make it always hang out there just for a little bit. So whenever the AI is thinking, it pauses and you see the AI down here for at least one second. Um, even if it actually is making an instant move, because otherwise you're losing some of the continuity here. I'll be right back with those tweaks. I'm also going to try to tweak uh, where that hand is, how far down it is when it's dropping the seeds. And I think I might take out that little decorative seed. Well, let me play with some things. I'll be back. Okay, let's take a look at it. Um, this is the other AI. I did extend the AI hand, at least on this side. Uh, for the other characters as well. Let's go back to Emma. And uh, it now delays for at least two seconds here. So you can see the AI thinking, or even if it's an instantaneous decision by the AI. Uh, there is something broken right now with my AI. I'm still playing around with that. If you saw the previous video, I'm getting tactics integrated. And so don't expect of wizardly play out of Emma at the moment, <laughs> but she'll get much better when I fix the AI. Uh, let's get back to the game though. Um, I have centered, actually, let's get the AI to move again here. AI yeah, thinking again, and I have centered it so that the hand is properly dropping into the right place. Um, the fact that it's clear in the middle of the hand means you're seeing the, because before I was covering the entire pit with the hand, so you couldn't see the seeds being dropped. Now you can see the seeds being dropped, but of course I'm not using a physics engine to drop those seeds. They're just suddenly appearing. Although I got to say, it doesn't look that bad, uh, them suddenly appearing. I might just go with that. I, I like, I like what I see. Clearly, if it's picking up a large number of seeds, it's a little bit more artificial. But, you know, everyone knows they're playing a game. It just needs to look good. Let's, let's watch it do another pickup of seeds and another drop. I like that. That works pretty good. I think I'll go with that. Um, can't wait for the rest of the images to come in. Um, I think what I might also do, and I'm just speculating right now, is uh, I do plan on redoing the screen quite a bit. In fact, I'm thinking about P using a piece of uh, piece of wood as the uh, this part over here. 
as the uh, the left hand menu screen use some wood um, in other words, I'm going to do some photography for that to maybe use a piece of burlap or something for the background for the, the main image. So it would be burlap here, burlap here, piece of wood here, then lettering over the top of it. Oh, I'll play with different kind of things. If I'm going to do that, I might also make a little frame for the picture to sit in. I think that'll be cool looking. Maybe a little silver metal frame or I don't know. I'll play around and go from there. Um, and of course, I got to be careful. I don't want to mix paradigms too much. <laughs> so... Hmm. Lots of artistic decisions to make. Maybe I'll get some feedback from Daniel too, what he thinks about it. Um, at any rate, if you like what you see, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.